Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your March mid-month reading. This is for Cancer. Cancer, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Cancer, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however, it resonates with you. This is for cancer. This is for cancer. What is going on? What is going on with cancer? Let's see. Okay, that's very good. A lot of major arcana here. Ooh. Um, so there's hasn't been a lot of movement here. I feel like you're a little bit stuck, your mind's a little bit stuck on a past situation. You have hidden emotion for this past person and you're trying to regain your strength. They too, um, it, they make it difficult for you Cancer because they do wanna reconnect with you but there's simply no movement here. They hold back on you. Um, so I feel like, um, they're going to want your attention at some point, but somebody's got to make the first move here. Everybody's kind of at a standstill. Everybody's kind of at a standstill. And if they don't, I feel like if they don't make a move, um, you, you may just move on. All right. But 10 of Pentacles here, I feel like this is what you want out of the situation with this person, right? You want them to be your forever person. And you, it's, it's like, it's hard for the two of you to let each other go. It's hard for both of you to let each other go. It's like you're bound to each other. Um, but they hold back on you. They don't give you what you want. They, they have not been able to deliver this kind of commitment to you just yet. Ten of Pentacles, that is, that is earth energy. So loyalty, family, abundance, blessings, right? Um, this is grounded, stable energy. They have not been able to, to solidify the relationship with you. And that it, it breaks your heart. And it's, you keep that kind of um, locked in, right? You don't, you don't show this person how much that truly hurts you. Not, not, not really. So you, you keep that all hidden. Okay. Um, I, they hold back from, it's like you're at a standoff. They are holding back from you and now you are holding back from them and now, right. And both wanting each other's attention because you both truly can't let go of each other, but let's see what's going to happen here. Communication is going to happen. I feel like this person is going to kind of cave in and reach out, right? So we have the um, Eight of Wands here. That is fire energy. Um, there's going to be communication here. So uh, a lot of holding back from each other, but both wanting to speak to each other. And I feel like that's going to happen. I feel like they're the one that's going to reach out. Um, and I feel like you've been manifesting that you've been manifesting that you've been manifesting communication from this person and let me just say you are feeling you are in a very powerful position right now okay you are in a very powerful position because these two cards together it's telling me you're a very spiritual being and a very powerful manifester and you can call in at this time um basically whatever you want here so that's very good but I do feel like you've been calling this person to you they've been calling you to them as well so it's like you know 
you can feel each other's energy and it's driving both of you crazy to be honest here cancer a lot of things hidden a lot of things going on here um, there could be some secrets involved um, broken promises here um, illusion delusion right so you could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. You got a lot of major arcana here. I feel like this this conversation um, that's finally going to happen um, is going to kind of reveal some hidden deep emotion here, especially on your end. I feel like you're really going to say the things that you need to say here, Cancer. All right. Um, and I feel like this person is still holding back they're, they're still holding back some things that you don't know about so be careful here all right so cancer I'm going to read the energies of the cards if the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with will be dealing with in the future if their sign pops up all the better keep in mind time is fluid cross watchers keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so however that resonates with you it's a general reading you assign the roles as you wish so you're manifesting they're calling you in you're calling them in because everybody's at a kind of a standstill because there's no movement so we're just trying to create contact um, they're the one that's going to kind of you know they don't realize how stubborn you can be so they're the one that's going to reach out Okay, and they're going to get your attention, but both wanting each other's attention, I feel. It's, it's, it's kind of like you're mirroring each other in regards to this situation. But they were not delivering the kind of offers that you wanted to receive from them. There was a lot of broken promises here and some, maybe some secrets here, and I, I need you to be careful about that. A lot of hidden emotion, hidden decisions, um, things being done um, quietly secretly that's what I want to say but six of wands here right it's a card of victory you're gonna win this battle okay because they're gonna be coming to you and you will get their attention so this is them you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart they are they've pulled back from you they've pulled their emotions back you and they kind of don't tell you um, what they want. They they keep things from you. They keep their emotions from you, and and that bothers you because you don't know how they feel. You don't know how they feel, and you want to know how they feel. So in return for their um, for their you know quietness especially in regards to their emotion you are doing the same type of thing right you're keeping your very deep emotion for this person your anger for the situation and your hurt and all of this right all these emotions hidden behind this pomegranate curtain here so they you know act secretive and mysterious and now you're acting secretive and mysterious okay before you were very giving you were like here's my heart take it uh, but they they did not do that right and you didn't know where this was going you wanted so much more from the situation and it just they just did not deliver so now it's your turn to hold back now it's your turn to um be still be quiet and allow this situation to unfold the way it's going to unfold and it's going to be up to this individual right so the high priest is here you're using your intuition you're trying to read this person you're trying to intuitively intuitively get a feel for this person's energy you know that they care about you but they just will not speak it they just will not say i you know the the words that you want to hear like i want to spend the rest of my life with you with this ten of pentacles here right so this is why you've been manifesting some conversation maybe a big discussion here and we're all, we're going to kind of put it all out on the table right so the high priest is here you're you're keeping everything you're playing it smooth you're playing it cool you're not saying 
anything. Um, the focus, first of all, you're being very patient because you know that they're, they're going to come back around. Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with strong Sagittarius in their chart. You've been healing during this time, um, and you're still wanting to re reconnect with this individual, okay? Now, if you are a Cancer that does not want to reconnect with this person, then this reading isn't for you, okay? So, the outcome here, right? So, we're at a standstill, this person still feels bound to you and you still feel bound to this person. All right. So eight of swords, you're both thinking about each other. We're both surrounded by thoughts of each other. So you are bound to each other. Um, and all of this powerful manifesting, right? I feel like you're going to call them in. You're calling them in. They're, they're, they're the one that's going to move. This is no movement. They're the ones that is going to be coming back in for your attention because you've already given them plenty of yours. All right. See? Hey, Cancer, how are you? They're going to test the waters here. It's going to be um, like a nonchalant, like, hey, how you been type of um, communication with this page of pentacles. Um, is there anything I can help you with? right how's work going are you are you um you've been working hard you know something very very simple to see if you will even respond to them right please clarify that eight of swords for cancer please clarify that eight of swords for cancer let's see you be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart, right? This is, you've been waiting for them to come back around and here they come back around. The attraction for you is going to kind of overtake them, right? There's a chemistry here that cannot be denied. Now, you've been waiting for this with the seven of pentacles. However, this person's going to come back around and after this conversation, they're going to say, okay, I really want to work on this. I really want to work on this situation with you. I really want to show you um, my affection, my attraction. I want to put the time and the work and the effort in this time because I don't want you to pull away from me anymore. I don't want I don't want that to happen again. So I want to work on this. I want to nurture the situation and I want it to continue to grow. Right? It's a slow process here. Um, but this person is very passionate about you. There's a huge attraction here. King of Wands energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart, male or female, doesn't matter. This person, they, um, they may have a little bit of a jealous streak. Um, they certainly don't want you slipping away from them. They certainly don't want you going anywhere else. Let's pull some and, and when you like disappear and you go quiet on them, Cancer, it's like that's their first thought. Cancer's with somebody else. And I, I'm, not, I'm not about to let that happen. Right? So let's see where this is going. I'll pull some romance angels for you. This is for Cancer. Excuse my dog, Teddy's over there snoring like crazy. This is for Cancer. Let's see. Let's see. They do not want this separation between the two of you. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It's temporary. It's temporary. And they're the one that's going to be making a move to fix that. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. There's something toxic here. There's some things that are hidden here. There's some secrets involved in this situation. Okay, but we're going to have a big time conversation here. Um, to me, this is the devil card in the tarot. And that list of toxic, um, toxic behaviors or toxic actions or whatever, I mean, we could go on and on. It's going to be very specific to your situation. Um, I mean, it could be third party. This person can have a drug addiction. It could be... Um, they're obsessed, you know, there's an obsession here. I feel like there's a little bit of, definitely a little bit of an obsession here. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. 
you know, so what happened here? Or maybe a fear of commitment, right? That's toxic. Um, so you pulled back. They, they held back. You pulled way back. And now they have to come to you and give you the time and attention and the love that you were giving to them. And you, you are being very, st you're not moving. So they have to come to you, right? If they want to um, get rid of this distance between the two of you. And they will. There's going to be a big conversation here. Some sort of outpouring of emotion. But just be careful with this one, um, Cancer, right? Um, because there could be some things still hidden here. Just, just to let you know. All right. All right, Cancer, that is what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. Um, please do follow the links I provide as, as there are some imposters and some scammers out there. And um, they create fake profiles and, and things like that. And um, some of them will offer you private readings from me. And it's not from me. I do not offer private readings. So just be aware of that. Um, what else? Cancer next week. I'll be working on the April. Right? Is that right? Yes. April future love reads. So um, check those out. And then um, what else? For those new to the channel welcome I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule the weekly schedule will let you know when the weekly readings will be released and the live schedule I usually go live every day but Saturday so check that out um, what else I think that's about it I hope you guys are having a great week and I hope you're taking good care of yourself and I will talk to you soon God bless <music>